What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're hopefully gonna be wrapping so much more of the seven series. So as for the front end, I'm not wrapping anything just yet because we're still waiting for a couple more pieces to come in for the front bumper. I did get the lower uh, two center external grills. I do have the two fog lights. I, I, I'm just waiting on the two front grills and I'm waiting on these pieces right here. And I'm also waiting for little brackets for the sensors as well. Um, and also, I already ordered these, I already got these in as well. And I also ordered the climate control modules. We have a new climate control module. So let's go ahead and swap that out hopefully and also get that center situation figured out. We're really getting this car together. This side's looking absolutely beautiful. Like every time I leave the house, I look at this side, I'm like, wow, this is looking so good. Obviously you wanna clean up these tires, it looks so great. Gross. clean up these wheels, paint the wheels. Uh, this has a strip lug nut, so I'm probably gonna take this down to a shop and hopefully get this lug nut removed. It's literally right here. It's been pissing me off for the longest time. I wanna get everything here situated. I bet you would wrap the whole car and get everything cleaned up. I'm also gonna be cleaning these inner seals. Uh, this side skirt still needs to get wrapped up. This rear bumper needs to get sanded down and wrapped. Look at this, actually it looks like it's been painted before and then uh, obviously it just started peeling. So we're probably gonna have to sand this down ourselves and hopefully wrap this rear bumper. This rear bumper doesn't honestly look too bad. The curve here is not really crazy. Crazy. Um, as for the rear bumper, it actually looks fairly easy to wrap. Yeah, this diffuser has a slight easy cut, but I mean, hey, this even this diffuser looks very, very easy. So the only thing that looks like it might be a pain is probably this, but we just do some inlays, call it a day. The good thing about this car is that it's black. So once we clean up this bumper and wrap everything, the inners, you won't ever see like any, you won't really be able to tell uh, if we actually messed up any of the work because it's black on black. It's so perfect. As for this, you guys knew it has a couple scratches is here um, so we're gonna go ahead and just sand this down a little bit just make sure it's the same level as the car nothing too crazy we can wrap this entire side this side does have a slight dent right here I don't really know if it's really worth putting Bondo and cleaning that up I need to learn how to remove little dents like this if probably if I can just learn that skill I'll be able to just make cars look a lot better but as for now unfortunately I am leaving this I'm so sorry guys I am leaving this little dent it's not a big deal but I wish I, I wish I just knew the skill. Eventually I will. I wanna wrap this entire side as well today. And again, we're just gonna leave the front end and probably fix this up, sand it down, fix all that. Sand on this entire front bumper, fix all that. Fix the gap and wrap the front end, hopefully in the next video. It might be the next video or I might actually make it a video after the next video. The next video is definitely gonna be the M4 video. The next, the M so basically I got some news. I went down to LA. I just came back literally like 30 minutes ago from LA, it's been a seven hour drive and I got the thing situated with the M4 for the most part. Like I got what I needed to get done in terms of documents and uh, this is why I have to keep a lot of things kind of low key, but I got all the things that I needed to get situated, situated and now we're just waiting on insurance. So in the next video guys, you're gonna see what I had to do exactly and what's the news on the M4. So yeah, I just went down there to do some things. I came back, I have some good news um, and we're just waiting on some other news. So hopefully the next video you're gonna be able to see all that good stuff. But in today's video, I just wanted to also make sure because we. We, are, we did start the wrap on the 7 series. I want to continue the wrap on the 7 series. So without further ado, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery and remove all the tail lights, start working on the rear end, and then probably start working on the side portfolio at the same time. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off, that's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that, I'm feeling it tonight. All right, guys, moment of truth. Why? Why is this thing still not working? All right, guys, now after replacing it, the buttons do look a lot better now. This is a cleaner version, but still, it is still not working. So either it's a coding issue, uh, some wiring issues, or I didn't check the right fuses. So we're probably gonna get to this a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get back into the focus of the wrap of the car. Um, but thankfully, at least now, this thing just this thing just looks a lot, lot better. Like this ultimately looks a lot better. So as soon as we get this thing working, we're gonna be happy boys that for some reason, it's just still not working. Without further ado, we're not gonna be mad because uh, everything we end, eventually end up figuring it out. Let's head down to the trunk, uh, finish up the rest of the stuff with my brother, and start working on the wrap. It's coming off like frosted flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 
This trunk is just an absolute mess. Like the 7 Series is just broken down in so many parts. To remove this, you need to remove this. Like apparently this is a separate piece to the trunk, which is ridiculous. This is like another piece you remove, then you can remove these, then once you remove these, you can remove that. And it's just an entire process. What happened, you broke more tabs? So <laughs> we're trying to get all these tabs out. Oh, that's the screws we are looking at earlier if you want to remove this, but we can leave that there. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, Honestly, you can just leave the tabs, dude. Just leave them. It's not a big deal. But yeah. Anywho, guys, um, this trunk needs some serious cleaning <laughs> before we actually uh, start wrapping it. But I think we're ready to wrap, right? We can just wrap it like that. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Who cares, right? Just send it, boys. <laughs> anyway, we need to also remove that emblem. I'm still working on getting an emblem, boys. Uh, we got to put a save BMW plate on here. Once we actually put it back together, you know, might as so well. Nice, yeah. It looks so much nicer. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start cleaning this thing and uh, probably remove those tabs if we possibly can. Just makes the job easier. And uh, bada bing, bada bang. <laughs> There's no going back to your own life I'm Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high I'm standing on the dizzying highs You know sunshine when she's gone mm -hmm. Ain't no sunshine when she's away Mm -hmm. And then what? You didn't finish. Ain't no sunshine when she goes and <laughs> she goes in no. Hey, Mom. 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 Hey, Climbed over your fence, had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not Living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights All right guys, so the trunk is officially complete. There is a small imperfection. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's on this side. It's not with the wrap. It's with an actual body panel on the car. We wrapped over it and I don't think it's that noticeable. Our brother's saying it's a little bit noticeable. It is what it is. Um, I don't really want to order trim pieces and stuff like that. I already just gave away something pretty huge. As for this, there's no actual headlight bracket on this car. Remember they had this car before me? Remove the headlight bracket and you put some kind of like tab in there. This tab, we broke it coming off and it actually put two screws here. Not the right screws, but it actually screwed on, believe it or not. So it works, it works. So anyway, this plate's not going anywhere. Thank the Lord. Uh, this for the most part is looking really good. I like the black with the the satin, um, and then obviously this has got to get the original emblem. Um, but all that being said, let's go ahead and clean off this rear bumper and go ahead and wrap it. We also have to remove those tail lights. So if my brother can get to that real quick, and I'll go ahead and just clean this whole rear bumper, and then uh, we'll just start wrapping it. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm 
gonna make a mistake I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette What's up guys? So uh, this is about an hour later. Your boy's heading back. My allergies are already kicking in and uh, it's been really bad. In the plus side, it is 8 p.m. right now and uh, we did end up finishing the trunk and the rear bumper. The trunk was absolutely a pain. So many things we gotta take off just to actually be able to wrap the trunk properly. And then we also ended up wrapping all the trim pieces. There was one trim piece that was Port, like very 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 damaged um, so we wrapped over it anyways because we have extra wrap so I'm gonna try to find that piece somewhere and if we can find it we'll cop it if we can't it is what it is but on the plus side we did finish a trunk we did finish a rear bumper today hopefully um, in this same video tomorrow I'm gonna try to get my girl I'm gonna try to get my brother we're both gonna try to knock out the passenger side of this car so at least pretty much um, we'll have everything knocked out other than the front clip and uh, which is just pretty much the fenders hood and front bumper I also do want to be able to knock out the side skirts tomorrow if possible. They aren't really too hard. It's just really big pieces. But uh, I do think we can also knock those out maybe tomorrow. So um, if we can finish up about maybe 70% of the car tomorrow, that would be ideal. My goal is today, honestly, to finish uh, everything that I just mentioned. But we <laughs> didn't have time like that. Actually, wrapping does take a lot of time. And me and my brother were devoted and putting a bunch of energy into it. But yeah, guys, your man is seriously tired. I need a shower so I can get these allergies off of me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And guys, welcome back. This is officially day two. So uh, what we're actually doing in today's part is doing the whole passenger side of the car. So we already did the rear end yesterday. It took us literally an entire day just to do the rear end of the car. And I think it came out really, really, really good. Uh, the trunk came out really good. The bumper came out really good. It's just this one little trim piece here again. If I could find another one, we'll replace it and rewrap it. But other than that, um, me and my girl are probably gonna start knocking out the passenger side until my brother can help. Uh, but if we can knock out this entire passenger side, we'll be about 60% done with the car. We're gonna be leaving the roof the original black we're just gonna end up polishing it out um this trim piece you might leave it also gloss black we'll see what we're gonna end up doing for this the 7 series has come such a long way and literally seen it come together making it look a lot better it's kind of even a shocker for myself because this thing was seriously seriously neglected by the previous owner by the time you get this thing fully wrapped up and hopefully get the new oil pan in and the whole transmission thing situated this car is literally going to be in tip-top condition especially for its mileage so without further ado let's go ahead sit you guys up start working on the beast
Guys, I am happy to say, I mean, this is looking very, very bad. I did actually hammer this back in place, which is nice, um, but we still need to sand off all this disgusting paint. And guys, just, this just panels are in terrible shape, um, but I cannot wait to just finish, like just fix everything in the front end, uh, clay bar it all, wrap it all. It's gonna look so much better because as for the rest of this thing, guys, it is looking so beautiful. I need to back this thing out and hopefully show you guys when the car is completely done. But check that out. Like, look how good that looks, especially with the chrome delete now with the gloss black. I think a lot of gloss black is gonna look really good. I'm gonna be gloss blacking this, this as well. And actually, I might even make these two the same exact color as this. As for the rip, I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar it, polish it. Uh, and also same for this piece right here. I want it to be original paint up here because these panels are in great condition. Having original paint up here uh, just makes all the edges and all the, you know, the corners, even around here just look so perfect. I just want it to stay because the car is black originally. So might as well keep that, that gloss black. I might polish and make it look beautiful. We need to wipe this off as well. I don't know why this is there. I might even clean that off real quick. But as for now, uh, you guys still know that the centerpiece right there, all our climate controls, all that stuff is still not working. One of you guys comment and I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the comment right here one of you guys commented saying that uh even though I checked all the fuses the fuse may have not been blown but it's probably like a bad fuse or something I'm not really sure how that stuff works exactly but uh I'm gonna go ahead and just replace every single fuse for the climate controls because I already I already checked all the fuses everything's fine I actually replaced the climate control module as you guys saw and it's still not working so uh let's go ahead and actually open up the glove box and just replace every single fuse that has to do with the climate control system. All right guys, so I called my friend Nick and he said that fuse 11 is the fuse for the climate control and I actually replaced all the other fuses as well and still no power to it whatsoever. So it is a little bit of a weird situation because it did work before and now it's decided it doesn't want to work anymore. So um, I already replaced it so it's just sitting there looking pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and probably try to figure this out probably in another video but as for this video, that's gonna absolutely conclude it. Hopefully in the next video guys, like I said, it should be some an update on the M4. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I just actually got a call a few minutes ago from my insurance. So I'll actually pretty much put that into that video and update you guys completely on what's going on with the M4. I got all the updates that I need. So without further ado guys, if you guys are enjoying the seven series bro, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys are ready for the M4 update, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.